Hey there, friends. Today, we're going to dive deep into a topic that's incredibly important, yet often overlooked, the concept of emotional hunger. Now, I know what you might be thinking, what on earth is emotional hunger? Isn't hunger just about the physical need for food? Well, my friends, let me tell you, there's a lot more to hunger than meets the eye. You see, emotional hunger is this insatiable craving that we all experience from time to time, but it has nothing to do with the physical need for sustenance. Instead, it's a deep, underlying desire to fill a void within ourselves, a need for love, connection, validation, or a sense of fulfillment that can't be satisfied by food alone. And believe me, I know how easy it is to get caught up in the cycle of emotional hunger. I've been there myself, searching for that elusive sense of fulfillment, only to end up feeling even more empty and dissatisfied than before. But you know what? Once you start to understand the signs of emotional hunger, you can start to break that cycle and finally find the nourishment your soul has been craving. So, without further ado, let's dive into the six telltale signs of emotional hunger, and how you can start to recognize and address them in your own life. 1. Constant Cravings Okay, let's start with the most obvious sign of emotional hunger, constant cravings. Now, I'm not just talking about your typical, I really want a chocolate chip cookie right now, kind of craving. No, we're talking about those deep, persistent cravings that just won't go away, no matter how much you try to satisfy them. These cravings might be for specific foods, like ice cream or chips, or they might be more general, a constant need for something, anything, to fill the void. And the crazy thing is, even when you do give in and indulge in those cravings, the satisfaction is only ever temporary. It's almost like your body and mind are on a never-ending search for that perfect thing to make you feel whole again. But here's the thing, those constant cravings are often a sign that there's something deeper going on. Maybe you're feeling lonely, or you're struggling with a sense of purpose or direction in your life. Maybe you're trying to cope with stress or anxiety, and food has become your go-to crutch. Whatever the reason, those cravings are your body's way of trying to tell you that something is missing. 2. Emotional Eating Speaking of using food as a crutch, let's talk about emotional eating. Now, we all do it from time to time, when we're feeling down, stressed, or just need a little pick-me-up, we reach for that pint of ice cream or that bag of chips. But if you find yourself turning to food as your go-to way of dealing with emotions, that could be a sign of emotional hunger. Emotional eating is often a way of trying to numb or distract ourselves from uncomfortable feelings. We use food as a way to cope, to soothe ourselves, or to fill that empty void that we just can't seem to shake. And the worst part is, the temporary relief that we get from emotional eating often just leads to feelings of guilt, shame, and even more emotional turmoil. But here's the thing, emotional eating isn't just about the food. It's about the emotions that are driving us to eat in the first place. And if we can start to address those underlying emotional needs, we can start to break the cycle of emotional eating and find healthier ways to nourish ourselves, both physically and emotionally. 3. Lack of Fulfillment Okay, so we've talked about constant cravings and emotional eating, but let's dive a little deeper into another sign of emotional hunger, a persistent sense of lack or unfulfillment. You know that feeling, right? Where no matter what you do, no matter how much you have or how much you've accomplished, there's still this nagging sense that something is missing. Maybe it's a feeling of emptiness, or a lack of purpose or meaning in your life. Maybe it's a sense of disconnection from yourself or from the world around you. And the crazy thing is, this lack of fulfillment can show up in all kinds of ways. It might be a dissatisfaction with your job or your relationships, or a constant feeling of restlessness and boredom. It might be a sense of longing for something more, something that you just can't seem to put your finger on. But here's the thing, this lack of fulfillment is often a sign that there's an emotional need that's not being met. Maybe you're craving more connection and intimacy in your life, or maybe you're struggling to find a sense of purpose or meaning. Whatever it is, that persistent sense of emptiness is your body's way of telling you that there's something deeper that needs to be addressed. 4. Codependent Relationships 
Alright, let's move on to another sign of emotional hunger, codependent relationships. Now, I know that word, codependent, can sound a little scary, but it's actually a really common and important concept when it comes to understanding emotional hunger. Essentially, a codependent relationship is one where two people become so intertwined and dependent on each other that they lose a sense of their own individual identity and boundaries. It's a relationship where one person's emotional well-being is entirely dependent on the other, and where both people have a hard time functioning independently. And you know what? Codependent relationships are often a sign of emotional hunger. When we're struggling to meet our own emotional needs, we may try to find fulfillment by clinging to another person, expecting them to be the sole source of our emotional nourishment. But the thing is, no other person can ever truly fulfill our deepest emotional needs. We have to be able to meet those needs ourselves, through self-care, self-acceptance, and a strong sense of our own identity and boundaries. And when we can't do that, we often end up in these codependent relationships that only perpetuate the cycle of emotional hunger. 5. Inability to sit with discomfort. Alright, let's move on to another sign of emotional hunger, the inability to sit with discomfort. Now, I know that might sound a little vague, so let me explain what I mean. Essentially, when we're emotionally hungry, we often have a really hard time sitting with uncomfortable feelings or emotions. We want to fill that void, to numb that discomfort, as quickly as possible. And we might try to do that through things like emotional eating, constant distraction, or even unhealthy coping mechanisms like substance abuse. But here's the thing, the ability to sit with discomfort, to feel our emotions fully and let them run their course, is actually a really important part of emotional fulfillment. When we can't do that, when we're constantly running from our feelings, it's a sign that we're still searching for that deeper sense of emotional nourishment. And the crazy thing is, the more we try to avoid discomfort, the more it ends up controlling us. We become slaves to our emotions, constantly seeking out ways to escape them, rather than learning to work through them in a healthy and productive way. 6. Lack of self-care. And finally, the last sign of emotional hunger that I want to talk about is a lack of self-care. Now, this one might seem a little counterintuitive, but hear me out. When we're emotionally hungry, when we're constantly searching for that sense of fulfillment, we often neglect our own basic needs. We might skip meals, skimp on sleep, or ignore our physical and mental health. We might even engage in self-destructive behaviors, like unhealthy eating or substance abuse, as a way of coping with our emotional turmoil. And the crazy thing is, this lack of self-care only perpetuates the cycle of emotional hunger. When we don't take care of ourselves, when we don't nourish our bodies and minds, it becomes even harder for us to find that deeper sense of emotional fulfillment. But here's the thing, self-care is actually a really important part of meeting our emotional needs. When we take the time to care for ourselves, to attend to our physical, mental, and emotional well-being, we're actually nourishing ourselves on a deeper level. We're telling our bodies and our minds that we matter, that we deserve to be taken care of. And the more we can incorporate self-care into our daily lives, the more we can start to break the cycle of emotional hunger and find that deeper sense of fulfillment. So there you have it, my friends, the six telltale signs of emotional hunger. And I know, it can be a heavy and overwhelming topic. But the good news is, once you start to recognize these signs, you can start to take steps to address them and find that deeper sense of emotional nourishment. Whether it's through therapy, self-reflection, or simply incorporating more self-care into your daily life, there are so many ways that you can start to break the cycle of emotional hunger and finally feel that deep, lasting sense of fulfillment. So don't be afraid to dig deep, to really explore those feelings and emotions, and to start taking care of yourself in a way that truly nourishes your soul. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, finding the emotional sustenance that your heart has been craving.